people are not your friends. There are no limos, no suits, and no security detail. What do you, what do you want? You're one of us now. No. Who are you? I haven't done anything to you. I haven't done anything to you people. How do you feel to be alone? What do you want? How does it feel to be homeless? Do you think people aren't out looking for me right now? The police will be after you. Are you all willing to go to jail? You want to go to prison? You realize what you've done? This is a federal crime. And you're all going to federal prison for this. Where, where the hell am I? Uh, uh, uh. All good things to those that wait. Allow my friends to introduce themselves. I ask you once, what do you want? When you were in office, you kept your mouth shut, so you better keep it shut now. I assure you, there's no foreign Get that substance out of my on face. it. My name's Trent White. I'm the electrical. Yeah. Uh, I used to be an electrical engineer. And what does that have to do with me? 30 years on the job. But I got fired two years ago. Is that what this is all about? I'm a wife and three kids. Okay, was well, not my... Did you know that unemployment only pays three hundred seventy? dollars Yeah. Well, that's good because I can't put them through college on that. Excuse me, are you suggesting that? I've used up my, my 401k. Fault? I've charged up all my credit cards. That is not my fault. Yeah. Are you suggesting that I'm to blame for the economic decline? We're that not, I'm to blame for unemployment? We're not saying it's all your fault. Then why the hell am I here? Untie me. Do you, do you know who I am? Yeah, I know. You're the congressional voice with the power. The power to put through the tier five unemployment insurance for Americans. But you, you refuse that. Look, look, I am truly sorry for you people, for all of you, each of you. But it's, I didn't create it, it's not my fault. You know, Senator, I've come to learn that it isn't the things that you do in life that you always regret. It's the things you don't do as well. Everyone here, right? Everyone here has this has a similar story. But we all have the same complaint. Abby. Go, Abby. You know, we all have put some money into the system. Mm -hmm. All of us have paid our taxes. 30 years. Yep. You've got some people here 40 years. You've got 30 years mm -hmm. here and 20 years. But now we're the ones, we're the ones that are on hard times. Yeah. But does that matter to you? No. You're ready to put us out there right after 99 weeks. You want to put us out there in the cold like we're you tell nobody. You tell nobody. You tell nobody. It's not me. my fault. Better. Evil. That's right. Only triumph. Yes. Yes. When yeah. decent people look away. You tell her. You tell I her. Think the quote goes. I didn't ask you how the damn quote goes. Do you want another heel sandwich? She doesn't get it. I'm the one. I lost everything I have. My husband, my home, my kids. I lost everything. Look at me. Look at me. My daughter. See what you call, Senator. What do you want from me? What? Look, look, just listen, okay? I was a am, was a waitress. And then I got laid off. I got laid off, and then I couldn't pay my rent. Okay? But every time that there was a tax increase, I paid it. I didn't complain because I could oh. still clothe my daughter. I could still take her to school. Sure. Then that was cut off. I couldn't put gas in my car. I couldn't find another job. 
they're all in that same Do you realize that my daughter yeah. ate syrup sandwiches for a week? Like a prisoner. She didn't know where she was going to sleep at night. And you sit here and you look at us. And you tell us that it's nobody's fault but our own? Give it to her. Give it to her. We need oh, help, Senator. And yes. if this is the only way to get it. We're going to do it. Right oh. You hear my friends, Senator? Yeah. Yeah. We're you don't ready. frighten us you're anymore. Control. You are out of oh, control. You're tired of listening to your... You're not thinking clearly. Everything. When you're hungry, you do a lot of thinking. Yeah. Things become... I got in the office to help Where's the handkerchief? Not We're going to gag this bitch. Think about what you're doing. Why are you listening to her? She is young. She's an experienced... Rona, Rona. Stop, stop. Are you going to listen? Senator? Mm-hmm. I need your cooperation. <laughs> Cut her loose, James. Senator. <sighs> My college scores are dropping That's right, girl. Yeah. Yeah. because I have to work two jobs yeah. to help out at home. I am really, truly sorry for each of you. And believe me, I understand. <laughs> I do, but you have to realize that the government isn't the answer for everything. The government has responsibilities, too. You know, mm. life isn't fair. Okay, mm. sometimes good people get lost in the crack. They do. <laughs> And the government Lost in the cracks. The government is working at a deficit. The government, oh, do you know that friends, why is the has government always worried about the deficit? Dollars. They stood behind two unfunded wars, right? Two. Right. right? Two. And the Bush tax cuts, where they were a multi-trillion dollar giveaway. What's well, your well, answer to I, that? I, I, I don't think I call it a, a giveaway because we're not giving money away here. But what the Bush tax cuts really did was to, to help everybody. You know, we cut taxes for everybody. And I wouldn't just do anything that I thought would help one group of people and not another. We help parents, we help married couples, and the working poor. The working poor got a tax break. I want you to remember that. Let me try. Let me try. But when it comes to helping unemployed Americans, the ones who they took money from, for the big businesses, they grow a conscience. What about the unemployed Americans? What about us? I don't have anything to say because you people are going to hurt me anyway. People are dying, woman. Citizens of the richest country in the world and we're dying. Our government won't give us aid. They won't give us money to pay our rent and to put food in our mouths. Do you think that's right? Just answer me that. Do you think that that's all right with we know you? That, that we don't want people to go hungry. That's not what we want. We don't peop want people to be homeless, but we have a unsustainable debt out there. And we're talking about adding $34 billion to it. Who's gonna pay for it? We need help. That's all we're asking, is to get us through to the next good job. Work. Well, I'm glad you said that because everyone who's unemployed doesn't wanna work. Doesn't wanna work? You think we don't know there's a couple lazy ones in the mix, but hey, <laughs> are you gonna punish the people that really want to work just for a few lazy ones? Is that what you want to do? Look, Senator, I know it may be hard for you to comprehend this, but people who really want something out of life, they don't want unemployment. I mean, how can we buy new homes like that nice mansion you have or shiny new cars? We want to work. But until we can get a good job, all we can do is just sit and wait. I know, and creating, creating jobs is the do you, do you realize that unemployment assistance has reached $200 billion? No, we do know because we are part of that. It's improved for the rich fat cats up in Wall Street. When insurance rates increase their premiums, you bailed them out. But when we need help, you call it welfare. Oh, the fake sincerity on their faces when they're running for office. I can tell you that the government's not an evil monster. And the government can't 
support everyone, and take care of everyone's needs. They can't possibly be expected to do that. Never happened to I am my brother's keeper. We are dying. The 99ers and everybody else, we're dying. We are dying in small, four-cornered, abandoned rooms, and soon the stench is gonna be out in the street. Bodies are gonna be piled and heaped on top of each other. We need a plan, and we need one now. I know. And tier four supplied the necessary, the needed help for 20 weeks. But not weeks. for 20 weeks until things get better. These are extraordinary times, and they call for extraordinary measures. More money for longer periods of time allow people who want to do better to get better jobs. There are six people applying for every one job available. You can't look for a job if you can't put gas in your car. That is, if you even have a damn car. What did I read the other day? Uh, that there's $24 trillion for aid for, for institutions and banks, but $200 billion is too much to help out 15 million unemployed Americans? It's reported that 400,000 Americans are going to lose their unemployment benefits next month because they've already used up their Tier 4 privileges. Is it okay to screw over 400,000 Americans? But they'll bail out the financial institutions, won't they? Don't people look for jobs harder when there's no assistance? Oh, you just don't get it, do you? If you don't have a place to live, you can't bathe. If you can't bathe, you can't job hunt. If you don't have a job, you lose self-respect. And if you don't have self-respect, you die. We're not looking for a handout. We're looking for a hand up. I'm with you. I support you. So please, don't think of me as the enemy. I'm not the enemy. I'm with you on Tier 5. But let's look at the facts, OK? The facts are Tier 5 would only cover 1.3 million Americans. What happens to the other 13.6 million Americans who are unemployed? We have to find a way. I have to find a way to help everybody. I want to help all of you. And we extend Tier 5 after that, after you get your extra income to help you get through until the next job. What happens? There are no more jobs out there. We, we can't just keep putting a Band-Aid on the problem. We need a cure. The cure is jobs. And the way to create jobs is to help small businesses. <laughs> Tire backups. I, 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 mean, I know you have problems. I know I empathize. Wait, wait, James, bring me the box. I'm sorry, Senator Haskell. I wasn't always like this. I didn't steal. I didn't cheat. I did everything the right way. We all did. It was the government who cheated. You see, fools and simpletons, they've divided this country up in many ways. Society hates gays. Well, they're taking that up with God. We're supposed to love one another. Bigotry runs rampant in this country. But the rich white and the rich black get along. But the most despised people on earth are the poor. Because the rich people think that all poor people want what they have. And do you want to know what's funny? Is that all we wanted was food and jobs. You know, Emerson once said that um, a mob is man voluntarily descending into the nature of a beast. This, this is not voluntary. You pushed 15 million unemployed Americans to the brink. And now, and now, we're gonna push back. <laughs>